The Nigerian Safety Investigation Bureau, NSIB, has released four reports on incidents in the aviation and marine sectors with safety recommendations. The release reports include one aviation incident final report, one preliminary report, and one marine accident preliminary report. The NSIB Director General said the reports will underscore the NSIB mission to prevent similar occurrences in the future. Today marks a significant milestone as we gather to publicly unveil the first series of accident investigation reports released by the NSIB. As the premier investigative body in Nigeria dedicated to enhancing safety within the transportation sector, the NSIB is committed to promoting a culture of transparency, accountability, and continuous improvement. Today, we are proud to present to you two aviation incident final reports, one aviation incident preliminary reports, and the marine accident preliminary reports, along with the requisite safety recommendations as follows. Uh, the aviation incident final reports, one, the serious incident involving an Embraer 145LR aircraft operated by Airpiece Nigeria Limited with nationality and registration marks 5 November Bravo Victor Delta, which occurred in Kaduna Civil Airport on 14th January 2021. Number two, a ground collision between lavatory service truck with fleet number 9-5 operated by Skyway Aviation Handling Company, PLC, SACO, and a parked Boeing 737-300 aircraft with nationality and registration marks 5 November Delta Alpha Bravo, owned and operated by Max Air Nigeria Limited, which occurred at Nnamdi Azikiwe International Airport, Abuja, on 21st November 2021. The Aviation Incident Preliminary Reports. It's a serious incident involving an MD McDonnell Douglas 82 aircraft operated by Dana Air Limited with nationality and registration marks 5 November Bravo Kilo India which occurred at Murtala Mohammed International Airport, Lagos, on 23rd April, 2024. Finally, a marine accident preliminary report. But both accidents which occurred one nautical mile from Onono Jetty in Anam River, Anambra West local government area of Anambra State, en route to Asaba Jetty in Asaba Delta State on 10th January, 2024. Our team of experts, has worked tirelessly to uncover the root causes of various incidents and accidents through meticulous analysis, research, and unwavering dedication. The publication of these reports serve as a testament to our commitment to safety and underscores our mission to prevent similar occurrences in the future. Contributing, Director of Transport Investigation, NSIB, said the four reports released contained 20 safety recommendations addressed to relevant entities within the transportation system. Five passengers on the boat were fatally injured, while the remaining seven passengers and the driver survived the crash. Only one passenger on the outboard engine fiberboard was wearing a life jacket. The only passenger wearing a life jacket came out with it and was not provided by the operator. So he came with his own personal life jacket. The passenger wearing the life jacket was one of the survivors. The boat was fitted with an outboard engine. There was no manifest of passengers and persons on board. And rescue operation was not timely and there were no trained divers around to assist in the rescue operations. Safety concern. One, the Nigeria Civil Aviation Authority should ensure that Dana Air Limited comply timely with the, with the use of checklist, quick reference handbook, particularly at critical phases of flight when dealing with abnormal and emergency situations in line with the standards company operating procedures. Two, the Nigeria Civil Aviation Authority should ensure that Dana Air Limited adheres to standard phraseology in communicating indication, indication mal, malfunctions during abnormal or emergency operations. The Nigeria Civil Aviation Authority should review 
Dana Air Limited training program and standard operating procedures with a view to highlighting crew resource management and threat and error management as tools in management of abnormal and emergency operations. Finally, Nigeria Airspace Management Agency should ensure that air traffic controllers always insist on communication of specific malfunction with standard phraseology. In this instance, the use of indicated system malfunction rather than gear disagree. <laughs>